I know I talk about education quite a bit on this program, especially with Mark Latham. There are three reasons. Firstly, if I might say modestly, I think I know something about it. Secondly, I can't name one education minister in this country who demonstrates any understanding of the problems that are destroying our education system. And the third point is, not only are these children our future, but if they're brainwashed, in a few years' time they vote. Remember when I mentioned a couple of months ago the outstanding governor in Florida, Ron DeSantis, who had visited one of his county schools and had some extraordinary things to say about modern education. First, he said that, quote, a 14-year-old cannot get a tattoo, but they're talking that they will do mastectomies and things which are very problematic and irreversible. He said these are kids going through a growing time in their life. He said there are a lot of different factors. Most of the dysphoria resolves itself by the time they become adults. So why would you disfigure a minor?" Unquote. And then this, in the classroom, we have battled a lot of ideologies. What I've said is the state of Florida is the place where woke goes to die. We are not going to let this state descend into some kind of woke dumpster fire. We are going to be following common sense. We're going to be following facts, unquote. But a dumpster, as you know, is movable waste. In my view, the movable waste in education are ministers who keep ignoring reality. Day after day, there are headlines. Quote, students' maths problems at primary school multiply in high school, unquote. Another headline, school curriculum impossible to teach, argued stressed school principals who also argue that the curriculum can be nonsensical to students. The visiting OECD Education and Skills Director, Andreas Schleicher, warned Australia that it, quote, has made learning often a mile wide, but just an inch deep, unquote. We learnt only a little over a week ago that the number of permanent teacher vacancies in New South Wales had surged past 2,000 in July. The reality is the New South Wales Education Minister has no qualifications in education whatsoever. But in schools across Australia, Parents are not getting, by way of education, what they think they're getting. I mentioned at the end of last year, the first ever Australian Teacher Workforce Data Report by the Australian Institute for Teaching and School Leadership, which showed nearly half the nation's maths and foreign language teachers are not qualified to teach the subject, half of them. Your child may be sitting in a classroom and the maths teacher or the French teacher or the German teacher may be only a page ahead of them not qualified to teach the subject. A quarter of maths teachers surveyed said they had no training in maths. Between 36 and 46% of teachers were teaching subjects in which they had no special skill. And we're spending billions of dollars on all of this.